Hey guys, welcome to Harvestside Kids at Home. My name is Mike and I'm one of the leaders of Harvestside Kids. It's so good to see you and I'm really glad that you're here because this month we're learning all about wisdom. Now, we learned about what, about what wisdom was in our very first week. Can you remember what wisdom is? Have a think. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Wisdom is finding out what we should do and doing it. Now we heard a story in our very first week where Jesus was just 12 years old. If you remember where he was hanging out, it was the temple. He was learning from the teachers of the law there. He was asking them questions and what was crazy, he was even giving answers. Now we learned that wisdom is worth searching for. That was our big idea from our first week because that's what Jesus was doing. He, he reckoned that wisdom was worth searching for, and so he went and hung out at the temple because he reckoned that was where he was going to find it. Why? Because that's where God's word was. That's where the teachers of the law, the law were discussing God's word. And so we learned that we can open up the Bible and also find out about wisdom. And that's what we've been doing. We've been looking at it, haven't we? Opening up our Bibles to learn about wisdom. Okay, but how do I get wisdom? Who, who, who said that? It's me, Solomon, King of Israel. Well, weird. You, you don't look anything like I thought you would look, and you definitely don't look as old as I thought you would look. Tell me about it. I've aged pretty well for being over 2,000 years old. Do you want to know my secret? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you rub banana in your face after you have a shower. That's how I look so good after 2,000 years! Yeah, right, okay, that's, that's a bit weird. Well, anyway, you asked how we find wisdom. Well, you ought to really know that because we looked at your story last week at Harborside Kids. What kids? Oh, I don't see any kids here. They're not here, they're watching from home. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You, learnt, we learned from last week that you had a dream. And in your dream, God spoke to you, and He said that you could ask for anything that you want. That's, that's right, isn't it? Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I remember that time when, when God came to me in a dream and I was sleeping. It was a, it was a really good sleep, actually. I was having a, a really good dream. But, but then, then God came to me, and He, he did ask what I, would, what I would want. He asked, well, what do you want? You can ask for anything. And, and you know what I thought to myself? I really need wisdom, because... Well, I'm the king of Israel, and I have lots of people to lead. And so I thought to myself, well, to do that well, I need wisdom. And so that's what I asked for. Well, you, I reckon you asked for the right thing. See, you trusted God to give you wisdom when you asked for it, right? And that was the big idea that we learned at Harborside Kids, that we can trust God to give us wisdom when we ask for it. And that's what we're learning. Well, this week, we're also learning about your wisdom, but not in a story just about you, but we're looking at a book that you wrote, right? You, you, you were so wise that you decided to write down a lot of different things in a book that we have in our Bibles called Proverbs, right? Ah, oh, indeed, yes. It, it took me quite some time to write that book. Hmm, it took me a long time to write it down on the, on the parchment, but, but I finished it, and well, I guess you have it in the Bible. So, today, we're looking in the book of Proverbs, right? That book that Solomon wrote when he was writing all those things down. We're in just one verse in chapter 22. So we're looking at chapter 22, verse 3. And this says, Wise people see danger and they go to a safe place. But childish people, they keep going and they suffer for it. That's it. Just one little verse. But... There's a lot of really good things in it for us to remember and learn about. And if we can understand it, well, it's going to help us to make wise choices, especially if they're tough choices. So we're going to learn three steps. The first step is to stop. Sometimes we're just going off with our lives, not even thinking about all the stuff that's going on. We're so distracted by everything going on that we don't even slow down. We're just doing what we want to do when we want to do it. But a lot of wisdom can be gained if we slow down, take a pause, and we stop. But when we stopped, we also think. 
And that is our second step. We want to think. So, we will look around. We might look ahead. Do we see any danger? And we might ask ourselves, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what is going to happen? Now, we can't know exactly what's going to happen because God doesn't tell us the future. But God has given us something pretty important. Our brains. And in our brains, and in our, the way we understand things, well, we have something called common sense. And that means we can sometimes know what is likely going to happen because we know certain things are true. And we've also looked around us to see what things are going on. And so, when we've thought about things, we can ask the right questions and go, hmm, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what might happen? And so, when we've stopped, when we've thought about things that are going on, we can do our third step, which is to act, right? We can make a move. Now that we've stopped and we've thought about things, we can make a move. And in our verse, that means to go to the safe place. That's, that's exactly what Solomon said. I didn't say that. No, I didn't mean right now. You said it in the verse. Oh, right, sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. carry on. Thanks. All right, now a safe place is not just a real place. A safe place could be any wise decision that we make, right? Any wise decision that we make that helps us get out of danger or trouble. Right? A wise decision is any decision we make that can help us get out of a difficult, dangerous, or a situation where there could be trouble. And that's a safe place. See, see, people who don't think about what's going on, who are foolish, just barrel around not thinking about others and don't consider what's going on. They don't pause to stop and think, especially about themselves or others. But we can stop, think, and then we can act. Now, how do we actually do that? So, here's an example that you could think of, okay? So, imagine you're up in your bedroom, or you're hanging out in a different room, and your mum calls out to you and says, hey, can you go and clean your room? Well, maybe you've already started, or if you're already in your bedroom, you're already cleaning up. And you get a little bit annoyed by this, or angry, or even frustrated, because you're like, well, I've already started, or I'm already doing it. And you begin to think to yourself, you know what, I'm going to respond to mum in a not-so-nice tone. Well, what should we do? Well, we should stop. Before we say or do anything we might regret, we want to stop. Then we want to think. So, we look around. Look ahead. Do we see any danger? Ask ourselves. If I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? Is there going to be a bad thing that happens if I say this not nice thing, especially in this not nice tone? Could I get into trouble or, worse, might I even hurt mum's feelings? So, we've thought about things, then we can act. We can go to our safe place. So, what might that be? Well, we could respond to mum by saying, No worries, I'm just doing it now, or I've already started and I'll get back to it right now. Instead of saying something really mean or nasty or in a kind of not so nice tone. That's a wise response to that situation where we could have gone two ways. Because we stopped, we thought about it, and then we acted. So, remember those things. We want to stop. We want to stop, sorry. We want to think. And we want to act. We want to move forward. And so, if we do those things, then we're putting wisdom into action, right? Because from the very beginning in the Bible, God made people, you and me, with the ability to do things in God's wisdom and according to his wisdom. Now, that's still the same for us today. And so we can do things in God's wisdom when we stop, we think, and we act. Now, as Solomon reminds us, uh, that, that's right. Wise people see danger, but they go to a safe place. But childish people, they keep going and they suffer for it. Thanks, King Solomon. Well, remember kids, we want to think right, before we act. We have to stop first. Sometimes we have to stop and think before we act. And that's what putting wisdom into practice looks like. Well, thanks for popping in, King Solomon. It was really 
good to see you. Kind of strange that you're here, but glad that you could hang out. I guess I'll see you maybe later? Well, I just have to figure out how to get home. I have no idea how I got here, and now I have to get home. I'll, I'll figure that out. I'll, maybe I'll see you later. Well, kids, that's our story for today, and I'm so glad that you could hang out and learn from us. But, if you remember, we have a very important verse, our memory verse. That's James, chapter 1, verse 5, and it says, If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives wisdom to everyone and doesn't find fault. Right? That's our memory verse. And so we can remember that, that if we're in a situation where we stopped and we're thinking, well, what we could also do, we could pray and we could say, all right, God, well, I need, really need wisdom right now, so help me to know what the right things are to do or how to respond. That's something that we could do when we're thinking. We could ask God to give us wisdom because we know that we can ask him for wisdom and he will give it to us. And he gives it freely to everyone without finding fault. Which is pretty awesome. And that's our memory verse, James 1 verse 5. Well, that's all we've got time for. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was so good to see you. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.